Hey everybody, so since it's morning time, I'm going to do a face video for you all. It's Monday, I guess, yay, no, I don't know, I'm just glad it finally stopped raining here because it's been raining really bad, but anywho, I said I'm going to do a face video and some of this too I just happened to notice as I was getting my items together to do this video for you all is that I use like mostly inexpensive products, so that's like really great. Like, because my point is, it doesn't take, everybody doesn't have to wear, like, straight MAC stuff, straight Laura Mercier stuff, whatever, to look beautiful. And I'm going to tell you what's my favorite product out of all of these things I'm going to be showing you today. But I have to, like, highlight this one item is this right here. The CoverGirl, the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. It is so good. I know I'm probably late to this, but, hey, I was... Too busy being a foundation snob wearing high-end foundations and yeah I finally decided okay let me go to Walgreens and see what the hype is about because I've been reading about it seeing some other gurus whatnot and I got this one I got number Q805 which is amber glow it's like the second to lightest shade in the Queen collection which I was like oh wow it's usually kind of like middle of the spectrum I guess I don't know but hey it like matches perfectly you're going to see me use it in the video which is like oh, like this stuff is great and it retails between nine dollars to twelve dollars depending on where you get it but still it beats paying 44 dollars at bobby brown so definitely give this one a look they also have the original three-in-one line for my lighter skin viewers and whatnot or different skin tones but regardless but regardless they have something for everybody so definitely check this foundation out and you're gonna see me use it very soon but okay, so I'm about to show you all how I do my face. I just washed my hair and molded it down. I just cleaned my face using my Clarisonic. So my face is like clean, clean right now for you all. <laughs> so with that said, let's get started. Yeah, for concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And the color that matches my skin tone is Fawn. And you can get Fawn from the Beauty Supply Store display, which I was very happy to discover after I had ordered it of course and I'm using a airbrush concealer brush from Sephora one of the best brushes they absolutely make to me so you just take it on there and foundation all you need is two pumps and this foundation is called a 3-in-1 because it has foundation powder and concealer so that's where the whole 3-in-1 comes from if anybody wanted to know seems like I have on like a straight up mask on my face right now but it warms up it blends in no worries 
Plus, foundation makes you look flat without all the other good fixings anyway. Alright. So, now that's on. So, now it's time to set the face. I set it with my camel powder. Even though the foundation says it has a powder already in it and it sets, I still like to set my face just to be safe. It's now 70 to 80 degrees down here, so yeah, you need the extra protection. That's more of a powdery airbrushed effect. And for those that want to know, I use Camel Powder, which is the luxury powder by Ben Nye. Great for those like me that have golden tan undertones. Okay, moving forward. So now we're going to get into that highlighting. And before I get going, going, I'm going to take the NYX Dark Circle corrector because I'm looking a little dark under my eyes. Blame the stormy weather last night. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on and I use color number medium number three. I pick it up from Ulta. And put that under the eyes. Just wake you up a little bit. That serves as a base for my under eye highlight as well. So, since we're on the topic of highlighting, like I said, let's get into it. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in color Pure Beige. As I've stated in previous videos, I like this video. I like this. I like this color usually for a more dramatic effect. But nowadays, I'm just liking it just period. So, screw what I used to say. That's why I do updated videos anyway. <laughs> Trusty Beauty Blender. Everybody's favorite step on YouTube. Set it with the banana powder. The Ben Nye, of course. And just scoot a little bit out. I'm just using a setting brush. I like it better than using the sponge now, just because the sponge to me wasted a lot of product, and we can't be wasting banana powder. That's just a no no.
and banana pattern out. So while that sets, we're going to do our contour. And my absolute favorite still to this day is the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. I use level 15, another beauty supply store find. It's just like amazing. It's like foundation or concealer. You can use it for whatever you want. But in my cases, I bought it a few shades darker so I can use it for contour. And I like the fact that it comes with a dark shade and a lighter shade so that way you can better blend it to get a more custom look. So, all right, going in. I use the darker shade first to carve out my face, and I use the lighter shade to blend it in. So, let's get started. Down the nose. And by the way, I'm using real technique real techniques brushes mostly through this video. You can get those at Ulta. And they're pretty affordable and coupons do apply to their brushes. So that's always great. Alright. Now to blend. Now we're using the lighter color to blend it out. Okay, now we like to set the contour with powder, just like you do your highlight. I'm going to use the e.l.f. in the Antigua Contouring Bronzer Blush. I really don't use the brush at all. I don't use it at all. I just use the bronzer because it's so great. So, yeah. I'm just using a bronzer brush from Sephora. We got it on close out. So that was exciting. See that face is forming. So now that our face is all contoured, we can wipe off the excess banana powder. And always too, just for like picture's sake, I always still go back over with what my setting powder for my face. Just to make sure everything is like perfectly blended. I don't use a lot, but it's just to so you don't get the crazy look in flash pictures. Just something I like to do. So I always just go go under those areas where the where the highlight and contour meet. Just to make sure. But it doesn't kill the con the contour or the highlight. Just make sure you use a little bit of it. You will thank me later after you go out and the pictures show up on Instagram. <laughs> Okay, so now that's done. Now just we're gonna put a little bit of blush. I just grabbed Oasis by NARS. It's a pink blush. It's pretty simple, gets the job done. So 
Now, let's take another brush. Just to give us a little bit of color to our face. Let's pop it on. So now we got some cheap color. Now we want a little bit of glow. Alright. So we're going to put that at the highest point using NARS Albatross Illuminator. Normally, I don't do my brows on every day because my brows are generally shaped. But if I just want to do a little something, something to them on like an everyday day, I just use some brow gel, tinted brow gel. This is by Max. I just put a little bit on top. Like I said, this is an everyday face, not a total beat, beat down, which requires brows to be like filled in. So, yeah, I just put a little brow gel on top of it. Just to keep it a while. No! Mm. That really just happened. Sorry, the brow gel got a little crazy. Yeah, a brow tutorial is coming though. Where I actually do them full out for you. But that is an everyday face. Now you can add whatever lip gloss, lip color you want to add. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss on my lips. That song has something on. I think this is what Max Dreamy, yeah. You can add a lipstick and all that other good stuff. But well, yeah, that is my foundation routine. This is what it looks like. Then I'll add all the other fixings. But like and subscribe below. Let me know what you think. And as always, keep watching. Thank you, everyone.